Thank you. Um, John, you mentioned wanting to avoid actors in the region taking advantage of this. Can you give us a sense of who you think might take advantage of this that you're worried about? Is I think there's a, unfortunately, long list of actors in the region that are hostile to Israel. Hezbollah is one of them. And, uh, uh, and you know, we've been watching with concern uh, some of the rocket attacks that uh, have, uh, have come across uh, the northern border of Israel from Lebanon, which obviously we're coming from, from Hezbollah. So we're, we're clearly concerned about that. Concerned about Iran as well? We're always concerned about Iran. And uh, uh, Iran's hostility to Israel doesn't need uh, any reaffirmation by, uh, by us. It's, it's out there plain to see. So yeah, of course we're concerned about Iran. You mentioned the humanitarian corridor, but more just staying on the topic of the humanitarian issue. Are you, how, what can be done or what is the U.S. doing to prevent a humanitarian crisis in Gaza, <coughs> the situation now about power, water, food? Yeah, as I said, we believe that uh, humanitarian assistance is important for the Palestinian people that live in, in Gaza, uh, and we are going to continue to, um, to pursue options to make sure uh, that they get that humanitarian assistance. Yeah, so it's, it's the U.S. in conversation with the Palestinian Authority or the Palestinian community here in the U.S.? We have been uh, routinely in, in uh, communication with the, the Palestinian Authority. I don't have, or I don't, there's not meetings or discussions, uh, you know, in recent hours that I can speak to, uh, but we have long maintained an open line of communication with them. How about, um, does the U.S. also condemn perhaps uh, potential war crimes Israelis are committing in, uh, in Gaza, against Gaza? Well, our focus right now is making sure that Israel has what it needs to defend itself against these attacks. Yeah. Uh, if I could ask you first just about something that you referred to, which is the reported incursion into northern Israel. There have been reports from the IDF. Do you have any new information to share on that? There are reports of paragliders initially. Any other additional information about that? I've seen the reports. We've uh, taken a quick look at them. Uh, we are not in a position to corroborate the validity of them. Uh, we have What I've talked about with Jeff was rocket attacks that we know have occurred in recent days. Then if I can, I just want to ask you separately uh, about these hostages right now. Presumably 22 dead, at least 17 held hostage. Not only the number of dead no, could rise. 17 that we know are missing. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. And uh, that no, number will that fluctuate. Number could rise. Yeah. It could rise, it could go down. I mean, as people, maybe they're found safe and, safe and sound. So Understood. it's 17 today. Understood. So about those who uh, remain hostages right now, has the president ruled out sending any American forces of any kind into Gaza at any time to help secure their release if necessary to get them out safely? We haven't made any policy options or operational decisions with respect to um, hostage recovery at this time. We so are in active. Ruled out. We haven't made any decisions about hostage recovery at this time. We just don't also have enough information, Peter, to be able to make uh, decisions like that. But uh, you heard Jake yesterday say, and uh, and, and the president has said, we'll do everything we can anywhere around the world to make sure that Americans held hostage uh, have a path home and to be safe with their families. So we're, we're keeping the, uh, to Mary's question, obviously we're casting the wide net. We're also keeping the options wide open right now as we get more information. But we just don't have enough granularity to be able to, to, to fine tune those options. 